Homelessness and crime are causing problems for several businesses, and at the root of it all is a road project. That's right. In fact, Action 10, Seth Kovar joins us now live outside Howard's Barbecue on Antelope Street in Uptown Corpus Christi. So, Seth, that restaurant has been a popular target, I understand, for thieves, right? Yeah, get this. Three break-ins over three straight nights here at Howard. There's some good news, though. The Corpus Christi Police Department tells me that they think they know who's been breaking in there, and they actually have a warrant out for that man's arrest. Now, the same cannot be said. No suspect identified in the break-in over here at Red Hot Tees, which is a t-shirt printing company that's owned by the man you're just about to meet. They came through this door. A door that Bob Redding boarded up after burglars broke in in January. Here's where the monitor was set. They got away with that 42-inch flat screen along with two iPads and a laptop computer. And that's not the only theft attempt recently. <laughs> Redding says his dog stopped another man before he could get in. The crime and the homeless campground, he says his front steps become, he blames on the construction zone at the end of the street. We've never had an issue because we've always had traffic flow. He says that ended about nine months ago with the closing of the Staples and Antelope intersection as part of the new Harbor Bridge project. Suddenly, no one was driving by. No one to call police. It's kind of out of the uh, sight, out of mind. Which is why CCPD frequently patrols this area, an area that had seen improvements through businesses like Reddings. This is what's going to impact is, is these guys continuing to open their businesses. Keeping them open now has more struggles. Redding starts his day cleaning up the outside of his building where people slept. It's not just trash, it's human waste. It's, it's everything. But even stuck with that chore, Redding says the bigger issue is the prevalence of homelessness in our community, and he wants to do something about it. I'm challenging other, other business people, you know, to get involved and, and come up with a solution or some help. Now, Redding said there is a business along this stretch that actually hires off-duty Corpus Christi police officers to stay overnight to keep the police safe. Well, not a bad idea. Police department agrees, saying, though, that not every business would likely to be able to afford those security measures. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Action 10 News.